All right, hello, and welcome to the very first episode, our inaugural episode of That's the Point. I'm Corey Meyer, here with my partner in crime, Jonathan Stickle. What's up, man? Doing well. Glad to be here. I know. We got the work shirts on. We're, like, ready to go here. That's right. (laughs) All right, so what we're going to do on these That's the Points is, as we said in the first video, we're really going to sit here and talk about new stuff, right? So whether it's technology, whether it's techniques, whether it's best practices, we want to talk about the new ideas and, and some of the new concepts that are available in the construction technology you know, industry, especially as it relates to Trimble Gear. Yeah, and we'll even talk a little bit about troubleshooting. I know it's not a you know, topic that we always like to talk about, but we'll um, talk about some techniques to make sure you're getting the most out of your equipment. Yeah, and I think that's huge because like, in not the, the not-too-distant past, like it's been so common that when something went haywire, the first thing you had to do is like, get it into the service center, get it fixed. And what we're seeing now is the gear is so much more reliable yes. and so much more kind of, kind of flexible that we can talk about workflows, we can talk about workarounds, best practices, and, and keep it out in the field working yes. where it should be, which is kind of an exciting thing. So yeah, we're gonna talk about troubleshooting. I think yes. that's a good step, so. Technology has definitely improved though, so it, it's definitely helped with that, yeah. That, yes, yeah, and that's a good thing too. So, <laughs> so kicking off, we wanna talk about some new tech today, and we thought that would be an easy way to get started. So today we're gonna talk about the brand new Trimble Total Station. I think we actually have one yes. yeah, right behind you there. Um, well attached to the wall too, I can see that already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was very safe. Um, but this is it. So this is the all-new Trimble RI, which is the brand new total station that Trimble recently released um, now a couple months ago um, that is really completely redesigned from the ground up. I mean, as you can see, this is, does not look like a traditional like Trimble RTS solution. Yeah, it definitely looks a little bit different. And I think, um, you know, for probably some of our customers, I think whenever you are changing platforms, the first question is always, you know, why the change? Yeah, and well, it's the first question we ask too, right? Like yeah. when, when Trimble starts to tell us that they're going to release something, we're like, well, why, why are we doing that? Why are we releasing this? And I think it's interesting with the RI is that it has some really easy answers to that because mm-hmm. the first thing to know about the RI and the, the first big why about it is this is the first total station that was completely designed for construction, mm-hmm. right? If we think about the history of total stations going back you know, decades, you know, there's always been a beginning that started somewhere in geospatial or in heavy civil. And so this is the first time that we've seen um, a total station that was really imagined and engineered from the very first day mm-hmm. to be a construction total station, which yeah. is exciting, right? And then I think the next thing is, they, the, the next why is there's been so many incredible advancements in technology that it was really time to warrant a brand new fresh look at the actual platform itself to be able to accommodate some of that technology. Yeah, I mean, just with the the amount of tech, how technology has changed right. with computers and our iPhones. And right. I mean, like I, that, I th- yeah. think about our iPhones. Like, you know, as we as the first iPhone came out, it had a camera that was 640 by 480. I mean, it was SD level video quality. Yeah. And now, you know, today we have 48 megapixels, um, which is more they're, imagery they're than pictures. We, and it's the exact same thing that's going on right now in the Trimble RI is it's that kind of stepwise improvement. And so Trimble needed a new platform to be able to take advantage of a lot of that technology and to also be able to accommodate future capabilities um, with a fresh way of like, being able to adopt new technologies and put them into a platform such as the RI. And I think that the final thing, though, when you, when you would ask about why this, this unit has come to market is speed. Right, and speed, when it comes to construction and, and building construction, that, that building point that we focus on with our clients every day, you know, it's all about speed. And no one else is laying out you know, several hundred, 300, 400 points in a single session um, like a building contractor. And so Absolutely. speed is a unique requirement um, within, the industry, within the industry that, w- that we serve. Um, and that's what's exciting about the RI is this thing is built for speed, speed, and more speed. Like this thing is just pedal down. Everything's about productivity with it. Awesome. So. Very cool. Well, yeah, let's take a dive into it. Um, just first impressions, you know, it's definitely still got the rugged design that you're used to with the Trimble Robotic Total Stations, um, compact. It looks a little bit almost kind of like, like a cross between like an RPT and an X7 scanner. It does look a little familiar from like the yeah. waist down. Like it does feel a little bit familiar to an X7. Yeah, and you got some other familiar features as, as far as uh, the batteries. It's the same batteries that the X7 uh, scanner in the RTS um, series has. It's the same. Completely interoperable. Series. So one yeah. battery does them all. So right, exactly. So you can do you can do it an existing Trimble RTS. You can do an X7. You can do the RI. Um, all of them use, I mean, RPT for that matter, yes. right? All of them use the same battery. And then as far as the tri you know, that's something that we're used to seeing with, you know, the, some of the total stations. And total stations, right. RPTs did not use tri mm-hmm. um, but then Trimble for the RI has gone back 
to a tri rack. And I think, I think the reason really makes a lot of sense because we wanted to take into that account of, of shooting into a known setup, right? Mm -hmm. Like setting over a known point. Um, and so a tri rack is, is key to do that. But I think that one of the takeaways from that is that the tri rack is there to, for those that are familiar with or comfortable working with a tri rack, but let's talk about it. Like the RI does not need to be leveled with the legs, mm -hmm. right? So it's got, it's got this amazing new thing called tilt adjustment. Yeah, that's awesome. And actually, you can up to 5%. Yep, so 5%, the system will automatically adjust it. And so what we've done is we've created a little wedge here, um, and this is a five degree sloping wedge. And so we can actually just put the total station, the RI right on top of it, and you could see how much angle this total station can actually have on top of your rod or your column clamp, and it will automatically, during the setup routine, it'll automatically account for that much tilt and adjust and adjust the setup accordingly. So no more like leveling screws. You just have to get it within five degrees, which I have to say, like looking at that wedge and looking at the angle of yeah. this total station, I'm capable of that. Yes. Um, <laughs> and that, as far as even the setup goes, you know, that's another thing that saves you time. When exactly. You're the setup. Yeah, being able to just go eyeball it and let the system go and, and go ahead and automatically set that tilt adjustment is a huge feature. So, yes. and, it, and like you said, it's all about speed with the RI. I think everything that, you know, once you, once you see it on your own job site, once you start to get familiar with it, you really see that everything Trimble did was kind of understand the construction workflow and then work to improve it and speed it up. So yeah. it's, it's exciting. You know, the other thing is, is that um, for those known setups, um, in the future, in the very near future, Trimble is releasing the ability um, where the system's gonna be able to then take a shot straight down. So you can actually, there's actually an ability for the unit um, to use that camera to go straight down uh, to the bottom and then be able to see through the tablet, through the camera system, mm -hmm. you can actually see your known point. So it's actually your optical plummet um, through field link and through your, through your tablet, which is crazy cool yeah. in my opinion. So, that's great. And that's coming out in the very near future and Trimble's already announced that that's coming to the RI. Yeah. And it, um, talking about like the ease of setup, you know, it's it's one button setup and also has I do an notice auto. a trend with that. Yeah, Trimble likes the one button thing. Like, <laughs> yes, yes, they do. Very familiar to the X7, um, but um, it also has an auto calibration feature, which which is cool. Oh yeah, actually, I'm glad you mentioned that. that. That is a huge feature in that while it's doing that tilt adjustment, it's also checking the calibration of the unit. So every time that you set up, you get the peace of mind of knowing that that gun has checked the EDM and that it's within its own tolerance to begin laying out points. Mm -hmm. So no longer do you have to worry about scheduled calibrations or anything like that. If the gun is out of tolerance, it's gonna let you know through field link and then you can go ahead and you can schedule it in um, to get it looked at. But generally speaking, as long as the system powers up, it's gonna give you that warm fuzzy feeling to know that you're, you're ready to go and you're ready to lay out with a calibrated unit. Yeah. So. And some other like improved features, you got improved prism tracking and improved uh, zoom so it does Zoom use feature. exactly. So with these with these new features, so the first thing is it is using a traditional prism, um, but because of the camera system in there, the contrast detection, all that stuff is so far um, it is, is so well improved from previous iterations. Um, it's really kind of a different experience. Like we've used it in the field a lot, um, just using a standard prism, um, which again does save um, a little bit of investment uh, dollars because you know you're able to use a more traditional prism, so yeah. it's not the active prism. Uh, but you're able to do that, and it still gets it still locks on. Auto lock works very, very well. It's it's definitely a Trimble type experience when it comes to the auto lock. Okay. Um, the next feature is the cameras, and the camera difference is absolutely massive compared to the RTS. Um, so we actually have we actually look at this this shot we have here. We actually took these out in front of the building here um, just to show the difference in the zoom um, that we have between let's say a traditional Trimble RTS and the Trimble RI. And that's what you would expect, right? I mean, this is a next generation camera module. This is next generation optics. Um, and so you can imagine how much easier it's gonna be to be able to take those DR shots, shoot to those building corners, take those, take those real world kind of environment um, shots that you need with your total station from the tablet right there using the camera. It's, it's pretty powerful. Like it's kind yes. of a game changer. Yeah. Um, it's got an improved radio, so you easily can connect it, it still to the it Wi-Fi. Does. Yeah, so, so the gun does connect to the tablet via Wi-Fi. Um, again, it's another stepwise enhancement to what we've seen in the past. Uh, this board is, the, the Wi-Fi board in this is, is very, very powerful. We also have both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz in there, but it yeah. automatically switches. So That's you great. don't have to go ahead and try to figure out what's best for you. Like the system is constantly evaluating that and making sure that it's, it's got the best frequency range um, and the best frequency spectrum for the conditions that it's in, right? So we want to make sure we always have that really robust connection back to the tablet because mm -hmm. that's how you're going to use to get all the video and everything else. So it's important. And so you can see that Trimble spent a lot of time trying to get that right. 
Yeah, and as far as shooting points out in the field, like that process is much quicker. It is a lot faster, right? And so even today, as we were getting ready to shoot this video, um, we actually took this out and we were shooting comparisons and it was actually 31% faster on average um, than, our, than the fastest RTS, yeah. um, which 31%, you know, that sounds like, okay, so if, if you're taking a three, four second shot, it doesn't sound like that much time. You're taking multiple shots. Three to 400. Yeah. Right, it adds up. the day, yeah. That's, that's another break. Yeah, it's so, <laughs> a lot of time. <laughs> so I like lunch. Yes. Um, and so, so it, it definitely makes a difference um, in the real world. And again, that just shows the focus of where Trimble's head was at with this, is they really wanted to create something that was optimized and just built for speed on the construction side. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about this is that with the new Trimble RI, all these features that we've discussed, they all come standard, but you can also upgrade your hardware with the built-in software. I mean, so it comes standard as a three-second robot, but you can upgrade it to a two-second robot by reaching out to your local building point representative. That is a unique feature, and it's something that, that is, is truly unique to the RI, is that once you, once you get into the platform, once, like you said, once you start with the standard version, that three-second version, you have all the hardware that you need for that for that total station, and so now let's see that it, you know the three second gun and that DR level works for you for the work that you're doing. But maybe you're starting to do further shots, or you need yeah. you know maybe you need a little bit more accuracy. Maybe you need to go further out to control something like that. You really want that two second accuracy, or you want a longer DR shot. All you have to do is just get the code from your building point, and your system now becomes a two second gun, which is amazing. Yeah. I mean, there's no hardware difference whatsoever to that. And uh, so it, it's, it's protecting that investment, and it's, it's, a, it's taking one more question away from you know, the purchasing process as far as like, am I getting the right total station? Do yeah. I need a better one? Now you don't have to worry about it. You just get it later. Yeah, so. I mean, it's absolutely definitely like a new tool that you'll kind of want to have in your toolkit. It is. Sure. We're familiar, you know, we're familiar with, it, with the RTS. We're familiar with the workflows, and, and it's such a fantastic platform. Um, I think the, the exciting thing about the RI is we feel like it is that, that toolkit, it goes in the tool. It's another tool in the toolkit. Um, and I think that that's going to be the exciting part moving forward is it's a real viable option um, when you want to lay out a ton of points every day. Yeah. Well, we're really excited about this new robot. Um, I mean, we're, we're committed to doing several videos over the next several weeks and months. A on, lot, yeah. On, on different workflows I think this is not the last like time the RI is going to be shown on, on camera, that's for sure. So yeah. there's a lot to talk about with it. Yeah, and the good thing is um, these are now available. Um, they are shipping, and you can request a demo today. Spoken like a true sales guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, and there you go. So you've been introduced to the all-new Trimble RI. Uh, make sure that you smash that subscribe button so that you don't miss all of our latest uh, episodes that dive into the latest tips, tricks, uh, techniques, and pointers to get the most out of your Trimble gear. We made it. We're down one, nice. like 39 to go this year. That's right. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.